You're not alone. Ever feel like you're stuck in a hamster wheel of your own thoughts? That constant loop of worries, doubts, and what ifs? Yeah, we've all been there. It's called overthinking, and it's the sneaky villain behind a lot of anxiety. The worst part? It tricks you into thinking you're the only one who can't seem to shut their brain off. You start feeling broken, like there's something inherently wrong with you. But here's the truth. Overthinking is incredibly common. It's the human brain's natural response to stress and uncertainty. We all experience it to some degree. The key is learning how to manage it before it manages you. And trust me, it can be done. Ready to escape the hamster wheel? Let's dive in. The foundation of overthinking, that pesky what-if question. It's a small phrase, but it holds immense power over our minds. It's the monster lurking under your bed, whispering worst-case scenarios and filling your mind with doubt. This monster thrives on uncertainty and fear, feeding off your insecurities. What if I mess up this presentation? The fear of failure can be paralyzing, making you second-guess every word and action. What if they don't like me? Social anxiety can make even the simplest interactions feel like a minefield. What if something bad happens? The constant barrage of negative news can amplify our fears, making the world seem like a dangerous place. Sound familiar? We tend to focus on the negative, imagining all the ways things could go wrong. This negative bias is a survival mechanism, but in modern times, it often does more harm than good. But what if we flipped the script? What if we challenged this monster under our bed and took control of our thoughts? What if we trained our brains to ask a different question? What if it goes right? Imagine the possibilities if we focused on positive outcomes instead. Instead of dwelling on potential disasters, challenge yourself to imagine the best possible outcome. Picture yourself succeeding, feeling confident, and achieving your goals. Visualize yourself succeeding, feeling confident, and things working out in your favor. This mental shift can change your entire approach to challenges. It might feel weird at first, but shifting your perspective can make a world of difference. Positive affirmations and visualization techniques can rewire your brain to focus on the good. Remember, your thoughts have power. They shape your reality and influence your actions. By choosing to focus on positive outcomes, you can create a more optimistic and empowered mindset. Choose to feed the ones that empower you, not the ones that hold you back. Let go of the negative thoughts that no longer serve you and embrace a more positive outlook. Speaking of empowerment, are you ready to discover a powerful tool for silencing those anxious thoughts? Journaling can be a transformative practice, helping you to process your emotions and gain clarity. By writing down your worries and fears, you can gain a new perspective and find solutions to your problems. It's a simple yet effective way to take control of your thoughts and reduce anxiety. So the next time the what-if monster rears its head, remember that you have the power to change the narrative. Embrace positive thinking, visualize success, and use tools like journaling to keep your mind focused on the good. You are stronger than your fears, and with the right mindset, you can overcome any challenge. The what-if monster doesn't stand a chance against a positive and empowered you. When your mind is racing with anxious thoughts, it's easy to get swept away in a whirlwind of what-ifs and worst-case scenarios. It's like being trapped in a mental spin cycle, going round and round with no escape. That's where grounding comes in. Grounding techniques are like an emergency break for your runaway thoughts. They help anchor you to the present moment, pulling you out of your head and back into your body. There are countless grounding techniques out there, but one of the simplest and most effective is the 54321 method. It's a quick and easy way to reconnect with your senses and calm your anxiety. Ready to learn how it works? Keep reading to find out. Section 4. Sensory Check-In Because reality is more than just thoughts. The 54321 method is all about bringing your attention to your five senses. Sight, touch, hearing, smell, and taste. By focusing on these concrete sensations, you shift your focus away from your thoughts and into the present moment. Here's how it works. 5. Look around you and name five things you can see. 4. Notice four things you can physically feel. 3. Tune into your surroundings and identify three things you can hear. 
two, take a deep breath and name two things you can smell. One, notice one thing you can taste. It's that simple. By bringing your awareness to your senses, you ground yourself in the present reality, reminding yourself that you're safe and in control. But what about the root of the problem? What about the need for control that fuels so much of our anxiety? Section 5. The Perfectionism Paradox. Why good enough is actually better. Let's face it, we live in a culture obsessed with perfection. Every day we are inundated with images and messages that tell us we need to be flawless. We're bombarded with images of flawless bodies, perfect lives and effortless success. These images create an unrealistic standard that many of us feel pressured to meet. It's easy to get caught up in the pressure to do everything perfectly, to achieve some unattainable standard. This pressure can be overwhelming, leading to stress and burnout. But here's the thing about perfectionism. It's a trap. It's a never-ending cycle that keeps you chasing an illusion. It's an illusion that keeps you stuck in a cycle of self-doubt and anxiety. The more you strive for perfection, the more you feel like you're falling short. Because the truth is, perfection doesn't exist. It's a concept that's impossible to achieve, and the pursuit of it can be damaging. The pursuit of perfection is often a way to avoid failure, rejection, or judgment. We think that if we can just be perfect, we can avoid these negative experiences. But by striving for unattainable standards, we set ourselves up for disappointment and self-criticism. We become our own harshest critics, never feeling good enough. The key to breaking free from the perfectionism trap, it's about shifting your mindset and embracing a new way of thinking. Embracing the concept of good enough. It's about recognizing that perfection is not the goal and that being good enough is actually better. It's about letting go of the need to control every little detail and accepting that imperfection is a natural part of life. It's about finding joy in the process rather than the outcome. But how do you actually let go of control? How do you start to embrace the idea that good enough is truly enough? How do you embrace the uncertainty that terrifies you? It starts with small steps. Allow yourself to make mistakes and learn from them. Celebrate your efforts, not just your achievements. Surround yourself with supportive people who appreciate you for who you are, not for what you accomplish. Remember, life is not about being perfect. It's about being real, being human, and finding contentment in the journey. Section 6. Embracing Uncertainty the art of rolling with life's punches. Uncertainty is a fundamental part of life. It's woven into the very fabric of our existence, influencing our decisions, our emotions, and our overall outlook on life. No matter how much we plan or prepare, there will always be things we can't control. We can draft the most detailed schedules, set the most precise goals, and yet, life has a way of throwing curveballs when we least expect it. And let's be honest, that can be terrifying. The fear of the unknown can grip us tightly, making us feel vulnerable and out of control. Our brains crave certainty and predictability. We find comfort in routines and patterns because they give us a sense of stability and security. When faced with the unknown, our natural instinct is to try and regain control. We might double down on our efforts, meticulously plan every detail, or seek out information to fill the gaps. We overthink, we worry, we try to anticipate every possible outcome. Our minds race with what-ifs and worst-case scenarios, often leading to more stress and anxiety. But here's the secret. Trying to control the uncontrollable is futile. It's like trying to hold back the tide or grasping at sand slipping through your fingers. It's like trying to hold back the tide. The forces of nature, much like the uncertainties of life, are beyond our control. You'll only end up exhausted and frustrated. The more you resist, the more drained you become, both mentally and physically. The key to finding peace in the face of uncertainty is to embrace it, to let go of the need for control, and to trust in the process of life. To accept that life is unpredictable, and that's okay. Embracing uncertainty can open up new possibilities and opportunities that we might have otherwise missed. Think of it this way. Would you enjoy watching a movie if you already knew exactly what was going to happen? Probably not. The element of surprise is what keeps us engaged and excited. 
The element of surprise is what keeps things interesting. It's the unexpected twists and turns that make life vibrant and full of wonder. But letting go of control is easier said than done, right? It's a practice that requires patience, self-awareness, and a willingness to be vulnerable. How do you actually convince your anxious mind to loosen its grip? Start with small steps. Practice mindfulness and meditation to stay present. Journaling can help you process your thoughts and emotions. Talking to a therapist can provide guidance and support. Engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Spend time with loved ones, explore nature or dive into a hobby. These moments of joy can remind you that not everything needs to be controlled. Reflect on past experiences where things didn't go as planned but turned out okay. These reflections can build your confidence in handling uncertainty. Embracing uncertainty is an art. It's about finding balance, trusting in the journey, and believing that no matter what, you have the strength to navigate through life's unpredictable moments. So roll with life's punches, embrace the unknown, and discover the beauty in the unexpected. After all, it's the surprises that make life truly extraordinary.